Exodus 10. And Yahweh said to Musha, Go into Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the hearts of his servants, so that I show these signs of mine before him, and that you relate in the hearing of your son and your son's son what I have done in Mitzrim, and my signs, which I have done among them. And you shall know that I am Yahuwah. And Musha and Aharon came into Pharaoh and said to him, Thus said Yahuwah Allahim of the Hebrews, Till when shall you refuse to humble yourself before me? Let my people go, so that they serve me. Or else, if you refuse to let my people go, see, tomorrow I am bringing locusts within your borders, and they shall cover the surface of the land, so that no one is able to see the land, and they shall eat the rest of what has escaped, which remains to you from the hail, and they shall eat every tree which grows up for you out of the field, and they shall fill your houses, and the houses of all your servants, and the houses of all the Mitzram, which neither your fathers nor your father's fathers have seen, since the yom that they were on the arets to this yom. Then he turned and went out from Farah, and Farah's servants said to him, Till when would this one be a snare to us? Let the men go, so that they serve Yahuwah, their Allahim. Do you not yet know that Mitzrim is destroyed? And Musha and Aharon were brought back to Farah, and he said to them, Go, serve Yahuwah your Allahim, who are the ones that are going? And Musha said, We are going with our young and our old, with our sons and our daughters, with our flocks and our herds we are going, for we have a festival to Yahuwah. And he said to them, Let Yahuwah be with you as I let you and your little ones go. Watch, for evil is before your face. Not so. You men go now and serve Yahuwah, for that is what you desired. And they were driven out from the presence of Pharaoh. And Yahuwah said to Musha, Stretch out your hand over the land of Mitzrim for the locusts to come upon the land of Mitzrim and eat every plant of the land all that the hail has left. And Musha stretched out his rod over the land of Mitzrim, and Yahuwah brought an east wind on the land, all that Yom and all that Lila. Morning came, and the east wind brought the locusts, and the locusts went up over all the land of Mitzrim and settled within all the borders of Mitzrim. Very grievous. There had never been locusts like them before, nor would there again be like them. And they covered the surface of all the land, so that the land was darkened. And they ate every plant of the land, and all the fruit of the trees which the hail had left, and no greenness was left on the trees or on the plants of the field in all the land of Mitzrim. Farah then called for Musha and Aharon in haste, and said, I have sinned against Yahuwah, your Allahim, and against you. And now, please forgive my sin only this once, and pray to Yahuwah, your Allahim, that he would only turn away this death from me. And he went out from Farah and prayed to Yahuwah. And Yahuwah turned a very strong west wind, which took the locusts away and blew them into the Sea of Reeds. Not one locust was left within all the border of Mitzrim. However, Yahuwah hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he did not let the children of Yisrael go. And Yahuwah said to Musha, Stretch out your hand toward the Shamayim, and let there be darkness over the land of Mitzrim, even a darkness which is felt. And Musha stretched out his hand toward the Shamayim, and there was thick darkness in all the land of Mitzrim for three Yomim. They did not see one another, nor did anyone rise from his place for three Yomim while all the children of Yesharl had light in their dwellings. And Farah called to Musha and said, Go, serve Yahuwah, only leave your flocks and your herds behind. Let your little ones go with you too. But Musha said, You yourself are to provide us with slaughterings and burnt offerings to prepare for Yahuwah our Allahim. And our livestock are to go with us too, not a hoof, is to be left behind, for we have to take some of them to serve Yahuwah our Allahim, and we ourselves 
do not know with what we are to serve Yahuwah until we come there. However, Yahuwah hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he would not let them go. And Pharaoh said to him, Get away from me, watch yourself, and see my face no more. For in the Yom you see my face, you die. And Musha said, You have spoken rightly. Never again do I see your face. 